Yo, what's going on today, guys? It's the one and only Rod X. Ready to be back up in here with some more WWE 2K17. My career mode. As you see in last episode, me and Cena went at it. I mean, oh, not me and Cena, but me and Finn Balor went at it. It was a, it was a right match, you know what I'm saying? It could have been better, but it was that main event, so who the hell cares? Uh, tonight on SmackDown, the second to last stop before SummerSlam, hopefully we get to face John Cena and the rivalry. But since the rivalry is looking kind of hot right now, I don't know if it's going to stop. But it doesn't matter. We're number five in the title ranking. We got to focus on that. And we got to face a creative superstar or somebody from my friends list. So without much further ado, let's get straight to this match. Welcome to SmackDown. Live in front of this crowd waiting for the action to start off. They want to see this and we're here live in Las Vegas, Nevada. One of the most lit crowds or one of the most, you know, best places to be. I don't know about the crowds, but yes, you know what I'm saying. It's, nice, it's a nice place to chill. But uh, they want to see this match against Dolph Ziggler and Kevin Owens. I knew KO was going to win that. And we go, New Day. Okay, that's weird. I'm going New Day on that one. And here we go. Everybody wants to see Rod in action tonight as well as John Cena and Roman Dean. Brock Lesnar and Triple H going at it in the main event, even though it's not realistic. You know what I'm saying? Like on SmackDown though. But anyways, Rod versus Martins. I don't know why his last name is Martins. But uh not last name, but Martin is with an S. I don't know why, but let's get started. Here we go, Rod. Looking to enter in. Here we go. I forgot. You see, I spent like over a half an hour editing his moveset and I was supposed to bend record this but it took so long because I was looking because I don't know you can call me a weirdo all you want but like when I was done with 2k16 before I deleted the game I took a picture of every move he had just to make sure I carry over the same thing well it's almost similar now but you know there's a little few moves I, I left on purpose like you know what I'm saying like some of the moves I actually left there just because try something new you know what I'm saying I do call him the unique big man so I want him to do moves that's like you know people don't expect him to do so there's a couple new moves I left in there on purpose but most of the moves are going to be the same from 2k16 because you know like every wrestler has like something they do they rarely change it up but sometimes it's good to change up so you know what I'm saying kind of took that and uh, here we go Rod is here he's ready to go one on one Trying to make this, I'm gonna try to make this a squash match, so we we'll see how this goes. He has a generic entrance. I just, I, I kind of like what the generic theme song to give you, kind of. It's alright. It's like a good heel song, like a good stable song, like a motor. I don't know. You don't even have to be like a motorcycle guy. Like this, this theme song for anybody, to be honest. But uh, here we go. This is a good one. Don't get the ropes a little bit. This guy is like. He wrestles with no shoes on. I don't know if it's an error he made. Oh, look at this guy. He's overpowering Rod right now. Here we go. Will it be a clean break or will Martin get the best? You'll see. It's going to be weird calling Martin. I never really met anybody who had a name Martin or a last name with an S. And here we go. This time, Rod showing that big strength of a big man. Well, both of you guys are big, but you know, you know I'm getting that, though. Here we go. Another clean break. From both of these huge men. And now this time Rod grabs him by the neck. Boom. Big tackle. I mean, uh, whoa, that's a big tackle. Big strike, I meant to say. Excuse me. Ducks. Jumps. Hits him with a nice hip toss. Bang. Puts him right down on the mat. And that's going to stomp all over Martins. Here we go. Starting this match off on the right foot for Rod. Here we go. Suplex coming up. Boom. Right in the middle of the ring. Elbow drop to the chest. I don't know how I kind of missed that. Here we go. Leg drop. To, oh, no, no, no. Martins. Boom. Big clothesline. Almost took Rod's head off with that move right there. And now here. Oh, look at this single leg. Oh, no, no. Rod reverses. Somehow Rod reverses. And uh, boom. Head over DDT. From the big man. DDT City out here. You know, you know how we like to do it. Here we go. Another one. 
We're gonna hit him with a nice old fashioned rib buster. I know y'all remember that from last 2K. I just had to put that move on back. You know what I'm saying? Now, here we go. We're looking good. Scoop slam. Bang. Right there. And now Rod making good work of Martin's here. Can he land his senton? Bang. He lands his senton. And he's gonna try to go for a pin. Will it do it? One. Nope. Of course, he's not gonna do it. Too easy. Too easy. A kick to the back. And I lift him up again. Hit him with the. Uh oh, no. We've seen this move. Uh, kind of. We've kind of seen this move a little bit, but. You already know how this ain't, this ain't good. This ain't good for the arm and bang. Ooh, not good for the right arm right there. Well, both the arms not really good for, oh no. He caught Rod with the kick and to a belly to belly suplex. Martin's right here. Now he's gonna try to take control of the big man. So look at the strength tossing Rod over his head like that. And they, the authority wants me to lose to this guy in a five star match. No offense to this guy, but I don't think I can put on a five star match with him. I would literally have to take a lot of hits just to make it seem like he's actually strong. You know what I'm saying? You know how they do Roman Reigns out here, you know what I'm saying? And here goes, it looks like a power bomb he's going for in the middle of that ring. Boom! Little Batista bomb, power bomb right there. Boom. Rod, it's another stomp. This time with the Irish one to the corner. Boom! Big tackle in. Oh, look at that. Look at the capture. Oh, that's one of the new moves I put on Rod. There you go. Look at this. No, no, he keep blocking the leg drops. How the hell does he keep doing that? Boom, and why is my phone on the freaking sound? I know you guys heard that. That's my bad. Let me put that to the side real quick. Oh, look at that choke bomb from Martin. He's looking to take control of this match now. Just like when he's picking up the pieces where he left off. Three-star match so far between these two men. Just showing out their dominance right now. Seeing who deserves more spotlight. Martin's right here trying to prove to Rod he's not really on his level. But the damage he's done to Rod, I don't know. I can't really say nothing about that. Here we go. No, Rod reverses it. Ooh, takes him right down. This time, can he do it? No, my, it's like my leg drop is like no longer in use. Boom, another big clothesline from Martin's. Oh my goodness, no, he's going for a working hold here. He try to wear down the big man, the shoulders. And now Rod's gonna try to power out. Can he do it though? Can he do it? Boom! And now he's gonna hit him. Oh no, no! He reverses the spine buster. The double A spine buster is gonna reverse, and Martin's thinks that's gonna. Oh no, 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 no. This ain't good for Rod. No, 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 no. Here we go. Look at the strength. Gonna lift 281 pounds just like someone put him down. Big Marad no sells it. No, no, no. No. Oh, okay, that wasn't supposed to go like that. But here we go. Now he goes to the top rope. Is he gonna go for the Houston hangover? Yes, he. No, he does, but Martin's moves out the way. And now here we go. Look at this takedown. Look at that strength. And now, staring down. And now here we go, big spine buster, I changed the variation of that, because I, I just thought it was better. But here we go, Rod's done, he said that's it, he's going to make quick work of Martins right here, bang, crucial, and to Martins, good night, one, two, three, and just like that, Rod moves on to main event. It was all right, man. You know what I'm saying? I tried to make it quick as possible. You know what I'm saying? I could have been flaw. I don't know about flawless, but I could have been in a green if I wanted to. I could have upgraded Rod all the way. You know what I'm saying? Could have did it, but the thing is, though, when you get over a 90 or like an 85 overall, the game becomes like way too easy. Like when you try to make better matches, it's like it's hard because your hits are overpowered, your pins are overpowered. Like it's hard for them. It's hard for them to kick out because. So, Rod walks out of SmackDown with a dub. You know what I'm saying? Something light right there. Something light. Hot Rod, Roger. As I said, walks out with a dub. And let's head to main event. As he's pointing at the fans celebrating the win. What's in store? Let's find out. And here we are. John Cena just beat Zeke here on SmackDown. 
And look at Rod out of nowhere. Oh, look, Zeke rolls out of the ring. Oh, no, look at that. Oh, no, look at this. Boom! Big belly to belly suplex. John Cena's not 100% as you see by his hope right there. Oh, no, Cena coming back. He going for a suplex. Cena goes for a suplex, but no. Cena trying to fight back here. Rod's going to drag him. What is he doing here? Reef trying to rise to stop. He's trying to get help out here by the rolling center. Go, Rod. And now here we go. Right before someone say, here we go, what's going to happen? Cruise away to John Cena. And look at that, Rod's feeling himself now. Look at that. Oh, man. Everybody's hype. They didn't, they didn't expect that at all. Wow. Look at that devious look in his eyes. He just can't wait for SummerSlam, can he? Please welcome my guest tonight. I did not expect this interview. Okay. Uh, you attacked him during his match tonight. What was the reason for this? Um, first of all, it was after the match. But uh, let me just say this real quick. You know, sometimes you have to go out there and take what you want. I've wanted a match for him for a while now, even though we, you know, we had matches here and there. But SummerSlam, come SummerSlam, I want Cena. And if the authority won't give it to me, I'm going to show them exactly why they should change their minds. I'm at the top of my game. He's at the top of his. He's been at the top of his game for about 15 years. Who could deny that? But this one will be one for the ages. You can count on that. Ooh, you see how I nailed that promo? You see how I changed up the word a little bit? But you know what I'm saying? All right, what's going to happen now on main event? Let's see. The last stop before... Okay, uh, like I said, I don't really care about this. If you want to check that out, go ahead. But that doesn't concern me right now. The only concerns me is Cena at SummerSlam the United States title. That's all. All right, here we go. Loading screens. I'm going to try to talk through it. But the last stop before... SummerSlam is sadly main event. I wish I was on the official main roster, but since I'm only, I don't get it. U.S. people, U.S. title people get to go to Battle of Raw and SmackDown in real life. How come I got to stay on main event and SmackDown? Come on now, what is this? The brand split? Of course, we got to go head to head with the NXT champion, Baron Bumass Blade. Now, what does the Authority want me to do? They want me to win, but they finally want me to win. My match with Green Head Health. I don't know because Baron Blade is like an 80 something overall, which means he's not a pushover. If you get used to his wrestling style, then you might be able to squash him. But uh, let's get straight into this match. No intros, no entrances. Let's get this, get this over with. Alright, here we go. Rod versus Baron Corbin on main event. Let's get this over with before the last stop of SummerSlam. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Baron Corbin, the NXT champion. I said Baron Corbin, I meant to say Baron Blade. Uh, if I said Baron Corbin before I went to this match, I meant to say Baron Blade. But here we go, Rod. Gonna try to make quick work of him here tonight as well as, you know what I'm saying, trying to get that roll to SummerSlam out of the way. Big clothesline following up the reverse. Oh, wait, wait. Boom, big kick to the back. And you're like, he probably would have oversold it, you know what I'm saying, just to get out the way. But here we go, Rod with a single on DDT. Most of the old moves are back. If you guys remember from 2K16, if any of y'all were hanging me back then. And here we go. Look at the, oh no, Baron Blade seen it coming. Here we go. Oh, Baron Blade pressed a little bit. Baron Blade that's press. Or Luke that's press. But you know what I'm saying? I like to modify it with the move. One. Count. Oh, come on, it's a quick count. Come on, Baron Blade. A little Luke that's press is going to take me down. Oh no. No, no, no. I reversed that. Come on now. Baron Blade going for a suplex to block the big man, and he's down. And now Baron Blade looking to punish Rod for making that one little mistake, but no, Rod pops out of it. Boom, big strike. Oh, no, no, Baron Blade, see that big right coming. Okay, I reversed that. They're not even telling me if it was a little early, but boom, big belly to belly. And Baron Blade going to go sky high real quick. He's gonna call for Rod to go. He's gonna wait for Rod to get up to the street. Everybody putting us on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, everything. But look at this. Centon missed into a power bomb. And now here we go. Baron again seeing 
telegraphing rhymes move, but here we go, boom, 110th Street slam out of nowhere. From the unique big man, now here we go, going to work on Baron Bray. Here we go, oh, you've never seen this last up, I mean, last match. Here we go, boom, big leg drop. Right to the chest of Baron freaking Blade. Or Baron Bumass Blade, as I like to call him. But here we go. Irish whip into the corner. There we go. What is this? Uh oh. STO buckles. Smash. Fight to Baron Bumass Blade. And now on the middle rope. Boom. And now we're going to taunt with the crowd real quick. Get the crowd on their feet. Here we go. Roddy's feeling it. And I'm about to take him. Y'all want to see an up close look at Baron Blade? Y'all want to see me beat up Baron Blade? Give me a hell yeah. Throw him through that middle rope. Get him out of here. Get him out of my ring. Let's go. Take him out of here. You ain't know what I'm going for. It's been a while since we've seen this. But here we go. Wow. What is that move called again? What is it? Freaking. Damn it. There's a. Ah. Whatever. Boom. I was looking to that barricade. Another one. Here we go. No. Baron Blade is enough. Had enough. And now. Uh oh. Look at that scoop slam. He's going to toss up. No, no. He's going to slam him down. I thought he was going to toss him out for a second. But I say, look at that unique strength from Baron. Somebody of his size lifting me up like that. I don't know how to explain that. But here we go. Baron Blade going to try to look to put Ronald on the outside. No. Robbie versus. And no, no. This time, Baron Blade throws Rod inside the ring. Baron Blade. Might have made a mistake right there. And look at this. Here we go. Suplex in the middle of the ring. Bang. Rod lands it. Here we go. Here we go. What is this? Another leg drop, perhaps. Here we go. Boom. And he goes for a quick cover. He's right near the ropes, though. Yes, I knew it. Rope break. Rod did not see the ropes right there. It might be a big ring, but. You got guys at your size and stuff like that. It's not big anymore here we go boom big rib breaker a rib buster whatever you want to call it doesn't matter hey here we go i'm gonna turn him around and hit him with a nice boom knee crusher right to the mat bam and now here we go gonna turn baron blade around gonna toss him right over the head boom bullplex right there and rod again once once again feeling it. okay i never thought i had that turn the master lock turn right there. Hard to here we go. Irish whip. Boom. Oh, what was that? Yo. Alright, we do that. Come on. Boom. Look at that shoulder tackle into a nice belly to belly overhead suplex. And Rod, you go to the top. We barely see a big man his size go to the top rope. But when he needs to finish a match, he does it with a Houston hangover. Can that do it? Right there, count it. One, two. Are you for real? A Houston hit. Yo, I thought he was going to kick out of that. I was trying to make this match go on just a little bit longer. But Baron sucks. Not Corbin. Corbin's eye, right, but Baron Blade sucks. I should be NXT champion just from that. <laughs> but I didn't start off on NXT. So I was really too good, so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There we go. It's a, I guess we have to finish. I, I did say we went to squash him, but I didn't know he was going to die off of a damn Houston hangover. But Rod does work out of the heat with a dub. The last stop before SummerSlam is. AW, and that's all you need. You just need that momentum, and he's got it now. All right, guys, uh, let's get out of here. Let's get to this locker room so we can get. Let me see the official card for Summer Slam. Holy sh! Do you see the stacked match? I mean, I don't know why Baron freaking Blade is in here, but we got a fatal four-way instead of a one v one. It looks like those one v ones don't even matter because we got a fatal four-way. Oh man, we're in the middle of the show as well. So let's look at the card right now. This is exclusive for anybody who made it to the end of the video. We got Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso, the Uso taking on the New Day for the tag titles. Roman Reigns versus Chris Jericho, normal match. Uh, normal match for that. Sin Cara and Kalisto. 
Lucha Dragons versus the Prime Tom Players. We got Rod versus John Cena versus Baron Blade versus Demon Finn Balor. Fatal four way. That means no disqualification. Anything goes. Sami Zayn versus Rusev for the United States title. False count anywhere. I got my pick. I'm going with Sami Zayn on that. But we got the Miz versus Dean Ambrose for an Intercontinental title. No holds barred. I got Dean winning that. But we got a triple threat. Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, and Sheamus. Every man for himself in a triple threat for the World Heavyweight title. Just hit my water bottle right there. But guys, stay tuned for next episode. Um, it's going to be crazy, man. Crazy. Tell you, man. <laughs> it's your boy. Okay. But we're going to be in Brooklyn, New York. The hometown of Rod. It's going to be crazy. Make sure you stay tuned for the next part. I forgot what number. Whatever. Anyways, just stay tuned. And until SummerSlam. I'm out. Peace. Make sure you take this, check the description. I'm choking over my words because I'm excited for this Fatal 4-Way. But check the description. My links. And Ridiculous 5. Alright, peace.